The armed forces of Russia and Ukraine reported the front-line progress in the last 24 hours. The armed clashes continued in some areas June 5th. In Donetsk direction, the active combat operations continue with the Akhmet Special Units in Mayinka Tactical Area and the units of the 1st Army Corps of the Yug group of forces close to Avdivka. The enemy losses were up to 200 Ukrainian servicemen, two armored fighting vehicles, two pickup trucks, one Grad MLRS, two US manufactured M777 artillery systems, as well as D20 and D30 howitzers, said Igor Konosvenkov, the Russian Federation Defense Ministry spokesman. In addition, the ammunition depots of the Leman Operational Tactical Group and the AFU 128th Mountain Assault Brigade have been eliminated close to Slavyansk and Minkovka, Donetsk People's Republic. Lieutenant General Igor Konoshenkov, the Russian Federation Defense Ministry spokesperson, said in total the armed forces of Ukraine lost 433 fighter jets, 236 helicopters, 4,486 unmanned aerial vehicles, 424 air defense missile systems, and 9,431 tanks and other armored fighting vehicles. Also 1,114 fighting vehicles equipped with MLRS, 5,009 field artillery cannons and mortars, as well as 10,688 special military motor vehicles have been destroyed during the special military operation. The other side from Kyiv. The armed forces of Ukraine in an official statement June 5 said Russia lost 410 servicemen in a single day, including 11 tanks, 11 armored combat vehicles as well as 12 artillery units and 14 drones. President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky thanked to all strategic partners who help Ukraine. Russia and Ukraine conflict has been lasting for 467 days. There is still no peace settlement between two sides. Terima kasih sudah nonton, jangan lupa like, subscribe, dan share ya!